Okay, I'm extremely tired. <laughs> I only slept for like one hour and I don't know, 30 minutes. Buenos días. I'm here at. Oh. Okay, I'm here at Cancun Airport because. I'm about to go to Cuba. That's the gate over there. Oh my god. Oh, more talking. <laughs> okay, it's been like crazy. I am tired. Like, I can't believe how tired I am. Like, to prepare for Cuba has been like nuts. It's so stressful. Like, because I read so much about Cuba, like, right now, like, they don't have much. Like, Okay, I guess they're not going to stop talking. <laughs> okay, so they've always had like electricity like problems. Okay, but I think like two weeks ago or something like this, like a lightning strike their oil plant. So now they're like, okay, so I think four out of the ten um, oil containers blew up. So before they're already having like outages or electricity outages but now it's going to be even worse because 40 percent of the oil their reserves are gone right now so before like havana wasn't experiencing any electricity blackout but right now they are and i talked to someone from santiago de cuba it's like they're having like five hours of electricity five hours without electricity and online i heard that there are some towns that have not had or they've had like electricity blackouts like almost every day and like lasting for more than 12 hours so I'm a little bit worried about that it's also a problem with food, with water yeah I don't know what, what it's going to be so yeah I did a lot of research and I read a lot about scams so I did a lot of research about that as well and I guess the problem is I'll be able to get a SIM card over there, but I do not know how good the coverage is going to be. So, without internet, it's going to be a little bit difficult. <laughs> okay, someone just said at me. Oh. Okay, and the flight's at 7 a.m., and then because I oversleep. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so because I overstayed my visa, I had like 180 days and I overstayed for like uh, two months. So I was like really worried about it. So I wanted to come to the airport like a little bit earlier, but it wasn't like very much earlier. It was only three hours before. So the flight was at 7. I decided that a good time would be at like 4 a.m. Okay, and a nice guy from my salsa class named Mario, he offered to like bring me to the airport. And so sweet of him like thank you so much like he picked me up at like 3 a.m. from the department from the apartment oh my god I keep getting confused he picked me up at like 3 a.m. at the apartment and it started raining it was scary and then on the way to the airport like the police stopped us he like he claimed that um, we beat a red light or something like this and Mario did not have his um, license on with him oh so that was a bit scary and then he got out of the car he told me to like wait and he's going to talk to like the police officer and then when he came back it was like oh it's okay we can go so I asked him like what did he do to like change the officer's mind and he said that like we were driving re really slowly and we we're being really careful and like he's not drunk like I'm not drunk and he's just trying to get me to the airport and like what kind of image would you give like um, a foreigner who's like from another country like if you were to like give me a fine for no reason and then with that the police officer let him go so, yeah. okay and then later i reached the airport at like 4 a.m oh my god the queue the queue was like so long it wasn't even like moving at all i think i was like in the queue for like at least one and a half like hours and then when i reached the counter my bag weighed like 19 kilograms 
like the weight I'm supposed to bring like at most is like 16 kilograms so I was like okay just give me a moment I'm gonna take out some stuff so I took out the rice and all of like the energy bars yeah because the rice bags I have two rice bags I don't know why but yeah I just have it so two rice bags of like a kg each yeah so that helped with like uh, eliminating the weight from the luggage and then after that she saw my FM and card which is like my B sign and I told her like I stayed like way past the due date and she was like okay you have to go to immigration right now and I was like oh shit so she did not give me my like she did not give me my air ticket my luggage was in it had the tag but I didn't have my air ticket she told me I had to go to uh, immigration to get it fixed and I also need to get like a visa card but I told her I don't need a visa card because I'm from Singapore it's like one of the few countries that actually don't need a visa card or a tourist card to travel to Cuba yeah but she didn't believe me so I don't know I tried to look for the guy but he wasn't there so I told them like I'm gonna go to immigration first when I went to immigration the lady there was like really nice not nice but I guess she didn't need to know more and she just asked me like what's going on and then I was like okay I stayed uh, two months past the visa and she was like okay you have to pay the fine and it's <laughs> okay so <laughs> the fine is like 638 pesos there's no way to pay by card you have to pay by cash but the great thing is like she didn't even ask like for like any information so all I had to do was like just pay and I got a new card and then that's it and then I went back to the counter showed the card and then they took my card away from me and after that all I had to do was like pass through um, okay so after that all I had to do was like pass through <laughs> like baggage check and the weird thing is I didn't get a stamp like, usually like you get a stamp but I do not know I don't understand how it works over here okay anyways like 6 626 right now flight is at like 705 yeah I'm not going to board until everyone was I just can't be bored <laughs> Yeah, then what happened? I don't know what's happening. Okay, so I'm going to arrive at what time? Uh, I don't remember. I think about like 10 or 9.50 or something like this. And Alexander is going to arrive at um, 11.55. The cab driver is going to come at 11.55 or is it 11.50 or something like this. So I'm going to have like two hours to spare the airport. Yeah, there's only going to be like 30 minutes free Wi-Fi, so I will need to turn on the Wi-Fi at like 11.50 to notify the driver that I'm there. I think I'm exhausted. Okay, hopefully everything goes well. Yeah, I just had like so much to do like, oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, that's it. <laughs> I'm not going to talk anymore.
Your for one of the will take compartments and check around your seat to ensure that the carrier of the person that will land. So you soon award with the rules of the nature flag. which is like the money exchange house I was going to exchange money and then I met like this couple outside and then he was like oh I'm going to Miami right now but um, I've been trying to look for someone to exchange like my Cuban pesos with me I have about like 500 USD worth of Cuban pesos but I've been to like all the Kadekas like and no one wants to like exchange the Cuban pesos back to like Mexican pesos or US dollars and he was asking me if I could help him and I don't trust like people easily because like what's the advantage of me like exchanging with him like over exchanging with the Kadeka if I exchange at the Kadeka like I know 100% for sure that the money is going to be like legal yeah but with him it's like a stranger so I was like okay what can we do you know I, I don't know you I don't trust you and then he was like okay this is my passport this is my flight ticket yeah and then this is like my global card or something I have no idea what that is and I'm thinking yeah but that's still not enough so I was thinking maybe we could go um, to the Kadeka to verify whether the money is like real so we went in to verify like 12,500 pesos and the lady was like nice enough like to tell us like how to see if it's real like there'll be like a shiny line in the middle and if you put it onto the light you'll be able to see like 500 on it and then she helped to check every single note and she said everything was like real and I was like okay yeah that's good so then I exchanged like um, 12,500 pesos Cuban pesos with him for 2,100 Mexican pesos and then I forgot that he had more money and then he was asking me if <laughs> um, like do I need more money then I was like thinking uh, I don't really want to change so much right now I could but I'd rather be safe so I thought about helping him with like maybe um, 4,000 pesos more so that that is like 25,000 um, Mexican pesos and no no 25,000 Cuban pesos yeah and then we went back into the Kadeka to check whether it's all real again every single note I sorry I just can't trust people so now he has about 4,000 pesos worth of Cuban pesos left and hopefully he can find someone to help him yeah I guess I could have helped him with all of the money but I was scared not of him cheating me but I just don't want to be carrying so much Cuban pesos knowing that uh, I won't be able to exchange them back. I just want to exchange a little bit by little bit. because they might not be giving you the, the correct exchange rate and, like you have to check and then make sure the receipt is correct and but it's not true the people at the Kadeka were really nice the officer outside the Kadeka was really nice and then people are like saying um, it's very inefficient and um, like when you go and claim your luggage but that wasn't true at all like once I finished the immigration oh wait okay let me talk about immigration first like immigration so I got off the plane went down first 
they check like the deep yeah hello um, form so that everyone has to fill up before coming to queue bar so I filled that out all they needed to do was um, check this uh, QR code that I was sent from this website they scan it and then that's it and that was fast and then after they scanned it you can queue up to go through immigration process okay and immigration there was like two ladies one was like staring at me weirdly yeah I know okay I probably look weird <laughs> yeah so she was staring at me weirdly like I'm a suspicious person um, and then so they took my passport and they asked me to take down the mask take the picture and then they asked me like for my flight number so she said like 712 and I was like oh okay yeah sure because I didn't memorize the flight number then she was like oh you're wrong you're not from flight 712 I was like oh shit and then so I went to look at my plane tickets it's 312 and then she said oh yeah okay yeah that's okay and then after that like the whole process was done I had to ask her like um because I have a question about extending the visa like over here I only have 30 days oh at the airport like they just couldn't believe that I did not have or do not need a visa like a not visa like a tourist card to enter the country because Singapore is like one of the few countries where a visa is not needed so then I had to like double check with everyone they're like yeah you don't need a visa yeah so that was done and then after that I had a question for her that like, una pregunta like um, if I want to extend my visa how can I go about doing it like, can I do it like within these few days? And then she was like, yes, you can do it. All you need to do is like find an office of immigration and you can do that. So I think that's one of the first few things I'm going to do when I get to Havana. Yeah, so that was done. And then I went out on oh, luggage claim. Yeah, I thought it'd be super efficient because like reviews were like saying um, like the belt would like start and stop. Okay, it did happen. It stopped like twice, but it wasn't for a long time. Like maybe okay, the first time round was like maybe a few minutes, and then the second time was like maybe half a minute. It was okay. The luggage just kept going through. It was like pretty efficient, and I also read reviews online on like people saying that. Um, they got their things stolen. Okay, that I do not know yet, but I don't think anyone stole anything from my bag because I took like a lock with a key. Yeah, some people had their luggage like pried open, and some people like reporting like branded goods like missing, perfumes missing. Yeah, but it seems okay. Okay, but the problem was okay, not a problem, but while I was waiting for my luggage to arrive, like. You know they have like the dogs that sniff your bags. I thought he was like sniffing for drugs or something. So I saw the cute dog like moving around, sniffing, 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 and I was looking at it. And then it came to my bag, this green bag over here. This one, okay, here. But I have nothing, so I'm like not worried at all. But it stopped. It just sat down like right below the green bag. Like why? Why did it sit down below the green bag? <laughs> And I was like, oh shit. And then so the guy who was like taking care of the dog came and he was like, what do you have inside your bag? And I was like, oh, oh I have rice. <laughs> I have like cookies. And then he was like, comida, like food? What food do you have? And I was like, uh, quesadillas. And then he was like, okay, bye. And then he had to like call the dog like, come here, come over here. And the dog sometimes wouldn't listen. Like, that's the most like, I don't know, strangest sniff dog I've ever seen in my life. It's not very efficient, it's more like a, I don't know how to say this, like a play dog or a pet or something, just running around, not listening to its owner, doing whatever it wants. That was funny. Okay, then along, okay, then on the way out, there's obviously like something to declare and nothing to declare. I have nothing to declare, so I was going out and then like, one guy stopped me and then he was like, can I see your passport? And then I showed him the passport and then he was like, okay, you can go. And then another girl came up to me, she was like, okay, can I see your passport? And I'm like, okay. And then she took my passport and I was like, oh shit, what's going on? Again? <laughs> and then she was like, do you speak like English or Spanish? Or like Spanish? And I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, I do speak Spanish. And then she was like, okay, follow me. But she said that in English. 
Then I followed her to like the luggage scan area. So I put through the machine of my luggage. And then she was still holding on to my passport. Then she was like, okay, wait over there. So I, I was waiting. And then she purposely like ignored me. Even though I was like the first to put the luggage through. And went on to the person that was like behind me. Like after me. And then she was talking to her. And then only after talking to her, then she came to me. And then she was like, okay, again, like, do you speak Spanish? And I said, yes. Then she was like, how long are you going to be here? For, and then I was like, for 30 days. And where's your visa? And I was like, oh, I don't need a visa. I'm from Singapore. And after that, she was like, where are you staying? And I was like, oh. And Guna Casa Particular is like through Airbnb. And then she went away again for like a few seconds, like to scare me or something. Well, I'm not scared. I know I'm not doing anything wrong. And then finally, she came up to me. She was like, okay, you can go now. <laughs> Yeah, but then after that, after she said I can go, another lady stopped me. She was like, can I check your passport? And then she was like, okay, you can go. Yeah, that was the last one. Yeah, okay, then I got out of the terminal and I was looking for a toilet or a place to like sit down because I thought there would be like a place you know, like outside the departure hall where I could like just lounge while waiting for Alexander to arrive but right after um, you collect your luggage is the streets like where the taxi drivers are so there's like no place to rest so I decided to come here to this cafeteria which is where I'm at right now just to wait for him yeah oh yeah yeah I did exchange money with the guy yeah, which I told you just now okay so far it's been good nothing bad has happened so far and hopefully the next two months in Cuba hopefully two months if not okay at least one month in Cuba would be good yeah I know I talked so much but you're pretty exciting <laughs> okay I'm gonna wait for him okay I've been like sitting down at that table for a long time it's like 12.05 right now his flight should have landed at 11.50 I hope probably be in like immigration or getting his bag the driver is supposed to be here at 11.50 I'm gonna look I'm drooling <laughs> I'm gonna look for the driver okay, that's how it looks like over here I shouldn't have left my cart now it's very hard to film and do things I'm gonna find another trolley yeah let's see yeah, Gados from Miami. Time is. Uh oh. 11. Oh, I think it landed at 11 31. Shit. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, I'm gonna have to look for the guy. Oh, it's hot. Oh my god! You're waiting inside? No, I was just at the cafeteria. Oh, you did? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't even beat you, I have no hands. Oh my god, look at this. Look at all this stuff. Jesus Christ, this is the way straight. Oh my god, what the It's hell? because of the mezcal. That's not that heavy. And the arroz. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hola. Como estas? Habla español. Si. Okay, come on. Okay, let's go. Oh, you're gonna... Yeah, that's too much. I, I carry this. Okay, yay. <laughs> so I can feed you. <laughs> How's your flight? Short, huh? Yeah, it was so short. It was like 15 minutes. Oh, I had so many things happen. What happened? I'll tell you either. It's like, oh, I already talked to the camera for a long time. <laughs> Did immigration give you problems in Mexico? Oh, no. All I had to do was like pay 638 pesos. It was so simple. Yeah.
I'm kind of excited right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't excited <laughs> yesterday. Why not? Why? Because I had so many things to do. Yeah. But then now that I'm here, I'm kind of excited. And you got everything done? I think he has so many things. I think he has more things than me. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah, yeah but it doesn't weigh on your calves like yours. Jeez, dear lord. I brought me. No, it's not. Oh, how much did it weigh? <laughs> 19 kg plus this. And then so I had to take out rice. Everything went fast. Oh, yeah. Immigration. I definitely thought they were gonna like search me. Oh, they searched me. Really? <laughs> okay, it was like this guy it was like Okay, where's your passport? And I showed him my passport. Then he's like, you can go. And then this girl came up to me. She's like, show me your passport now, okay? And then she's like, follow me. What? Okay, then I followed her. Then I had to go through that giant China scanning looking thing. Put my bags through. And then she was like, wait over there. And I'm like, fine, I'll wait over here. But that's in my head. I'm still nice. And then after that, she decided to talk to some other lady who came after me. Like to make me scared or whatever. I wasn't scared because I know I did nothing wrong. And then after that she was like walking around talking to people holding my passport but then after that she gave it back to me she was That's like it? she was like do you speak spanish and i said like, yeah so like how long are you gonna be here for i said 30 days <laughs> oh i told them two months and then she looked at me like <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I want to try to stay two months, but I don't know how that's gonna work okay then she was like um do you have a visa oh they kept asking me for that card I was like, I don't need it, I'm from Singapore. And then she was like, oh, okay. And then, where are you staying? Uh, in una casa particular. They didn't ask me anything about that. Or See, he looks so much shadier than me, yeah, but then they have to like talk to me. Like, why? They didn't even ask me like, the visa, like, uh, if it's like a tourist visa, or paso portar a los cubanos, none of that. There's only one visa for him. Oh. Oh, such a cute car. <laughs> okay, I guess the big ones go in first. Yeah. This this one goes in. I think I'll bring put this in front with me. I'm going in through there. Okay. Can I put this behind? It's too heavy. But you have center and front. You want the windows down or air conditioner? The windows down. Air conditioner. Oh, very nice. <laughs> It could be more or less 32, 32? but it happens that, that we have a very strong humidity. Okay, that's not so too bad. So you feel like too much. I know. <laughs>